We use the term childhood apraxia uh, to denote a particular kind of speech sound disorder. Childhood apraxia is just a label then for a subset of children who have speech sound disorders. It's an important label though because it signifies those kids who have specific difficulty with planning and programming movement for speech. It's important that therapy be frequent and that during each therapy session, a lot of actual practice occurs. It's important to have the child watching the clinician's face as that's very facilitative for children with apraxia of speech. One other thing that therapists try very hard to do when treating children with apraxia of speech is to bring in what we call principles of motor learning. These are just basic principles that relate to how practice is organized, how and when we provide feedback, and different kinds of uh, schedules of practice. I am so fortunate. Um, I knew very young that I wanted to be a speech language pathologist and I have a passion for this field. Uh, a scientific curiosity about trying to figure out what causes these problems and how are we going to manage them, but also just a passion for seeing that child sitting across that table from me and, and knowing that I might be able to help that child speak someday. There's a young man who's now 14 who I saw at five who was nonverbal. And I told his mom the first day I met him, he is not going to have to use an augmentative communication machine to ask a child to the prom, to ask a, a girl to the prom. And he's now gone to his first dance and he's a talker. That's why I do this. And I'm so fortunate that I have a passion. It's not a job for me. I love these kids and I want to help them talk. And that, to me, is more than enough to get out of bed every day.